How you guys? I can't talk. Skid a bit a bit a guru bit a bit a bit a boo. Hi guys, what's up? It is time for the Killing Eve series finale. This is season four, episode eight, called Hello Losers. And I can't believe we're finally here. It's been a couple years I've been watching this now. I started reacting at the finale of the first season just because I was so amazed by what I was seeing. I was like, I gotta react to this finale. And then um, from then I've been reacting every season. And now we're at the end and I clearly I have no idea what's really gonna happen right in the end. Um, I do have a lot of hopes um, and suspicions. Like I, 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 it's quite obvious actually that they're all gonna end up meeting in the same place. Carolyn and Eve have their sights on this one meeting place that that's symbolized by a bird, and Eve is going to Villanelle for help in finding this place. So I'm assuming Eve, Villanelle, and Carolyn are all gonna be there. We're gonna see who the head of the twelve is, and it's gonna be a showdown. We ended very abruptly last episode with uh, Eve perhaps being sliced up by a goddamn machete. Um, I think the assassin name's Gun. She's a bit of a wild card, honestly, but she's dumb enough to turn her back to Villanelle just to go after Eve, and that's basically suicide, because Villanelle's gonna protect her gal, you know, no matter how angry she is at Eve for hooking up with Helen and all that, and being super mean to her, <laughs> and, and turning her in and all that, uh, she's gonna protect Eve, and I don't know how Eve will keep, make it up to her for what's been happening. I think Villanelle got some of it out as well by hooking up with Gun. And regardless of that, they're both after the same thing, so they do have to work together, maybe along the ways when they'll have um, a discussion about themselves, you know. I don't really know where the show's going in regards to the relationship. Obviously, I want to see something with them. I mean, it's definitely not the most healthy portrayal of a relationship, but I feel like Eve knows she can't go back to the normal life she has. She's also been trained up to kind of keep up with the style, lifestyle that Villanelle has had for so many years. And Villanelle is ready kind of to allow herself to feel things. And I don't know, I do hope that they come out of it successful and can begin some kind of relationship with each other. But my suspicion is that at least one of them or both of them dies, as is the norm for any... Uh, story like this but also any relationship between two women so I'm gonna prepare for the worst because I've been burned so many times um, one thing that has me worried is Carolyn's story because she is looking for Kenny's killer and right now there's three assassins that could have done it that we've at least met and it's gun I don't think it was her or that old man that Carolyn met last episode or Villanelle herself and if it's Villanelle, Carolyn is 100% going to kill her, or at least try to. Um, and if it's the older man, I don't know, he's gonna, she's going to try killing him. Maybe he'll kill her in turn, so Carolyn might die. I'm not quite sure, but the entire show is called Killing Eve. So I don't know if that's metaphorically killing who Eve was, which has already happened. She's totally different from season one. Or if it actually means that the last final act will be Eve dying, you know? So very curious. I'm very curious as to how they'll end this. Before we dive into this episode, uh, because it is the finale, I do want to thank everybody for their support. Everybody on YouTube, but especially all of my Patreons. Um, even for those who are just a Patreon for a month, or those who have been for the entire time have had a Patreon. I just wanted to give you guys a big old shout out. So thank you so much, uh, Kevin, ACBV, Space Monkey, Vincent Gambino. I'm just going to say first names here because I don't know if y'all are cool with me saying your entire names. But Jack, Ben, Ronnie, Steven, Dyfic, Lolol, Erratic, Johan, Stellinium, Trace Cat, Andreas, Rob, uh, Yaram, MZ, Billis Onyxia, Augustine, Mooner, John Creighton, John C., <laughs> Lawrence, Brewer, Claire, Chris, and Sharang. I just want to thank y'all so much for your support. Um, I know I've been quite awful at posting the la lately. I haven't posted any movies in such a long time. But um, I really appreciate your continued support. And I am actually filming Terminator 2 later. And I have already filmed another movie. So movie reactions are for sure coming. They're going to be my priority from now on. And I'll catch up with the shows I'm already so far 
uh, behind with eventually, but I do think movies are the way for my channel now. As for shows, um, if you're fans of Killing Eve, um, if you haven't seen The Wilds, that's the next show I'm really excited about that's coming out season two soon. And I will react to that as well. What's happening with my TV show reactions is that I'm bulk reacting to it and then posting all of them at once in my own time. Might take a while depending on how busy I am with other things, but uh, rest assured I will be reacting to shows still just um, in my own way, in my own time. Just because I'm a really, I'm a full-time worker, I am working on a lot of things. And movies are easier to just post regularly because it's a single video. And to be fair, they also get way more views. And I've gotten such great responses from my movie reactions, even though these I feel like sometimes I don't even know how I'll react to a movie because, you know, it's a lot of old older movies. Um, but I do love the response I've been getting for them. So that's the future of my channel if you guys are interested. I do have a lot of shows, like a whole list of shows that I'll eventually bulk react to and post um, as I go. So if you are interested, just check out my Patreon below. Anyways, here we go, guys. Here's the finale of Killing Eve. Let's get started. Hope we're all satisfied with this finale. It's hard to satisfy me, I gotta be honest. I'm very harsh, but I'll let you know all my opinions. Um, I'll try to also see it from their the writer's perspective and what they're going for, and I'll try and keep an open mind, but you'll see all, all the things I have to say at the end. Cops have her. <laughs> So possessive. Villanelle, hit her with a uh, over the head or something. Yeah, I don't. I said last episode, throw dirt in her face. And then there's a rock. Oh my god, Eve. That's hella gonna <laughs> attract Villanelle. <laughs> wow, I'm proud of Eve. I'm really proud of Eve. She got the better of an assassin. Like a stone cold assassin. She's really grown. Step on the machete, step on the machete. Nope. She running after Eve or this lady? Eve. <laughs> she climbed up a fucking tree. <laughs> oh my god. That's cracking Villanelle up and me. Oh shit! Dude, Villanelle's so impressed right now. Get her! Get her! With your thighs? Oh my gosh. Look at this. Look at this. Gouge her eyes out. Oh my god. Look at- she's so like... Ooh. <laughs> I can't. I'm, I'm dying. This is so funny. <laughs> Eve. Really grown. Jesus. I know where they are. Well, where they will be. And we don't have much time. And this is why you're here? Not for me. You know why I'm here. You want this as much as I do. Want what? Let's be more specific here. Man, Eve is really impressive. What did you do to her? Did she actually kill her? Are you looking for inspiration? Yeah, no, no, she's blind. Oh my goodness, that's scary. Amateur. Are you kidding me? She just knocked her out, probably, with her thighs. Man, that lady is scary. She's coming. Man, she looks like a horror movie. Yeah. She can't see it, though, but, you know. It's a thought. It's a thought. Time, so you need to stop pouting and being a suck face and get on with it. What is she oh, doing? Are you kidding me? Hey, are you two okay? All good, thanks. <laughs> Give us some directions. Don't kill them for no reason. This guy, I don't want to see him anymore. Your accent is terrible. Yeah. You sound like a drunk bat. Come on then. Quick march. Yeah, a drunk bat? Okay. <laughs> Google it. <laughs> I'm okay. Hey there, life. Ooh, raining? 
they're indoors, you're gonna be a little cold. It might be fun. Or <laughs> awkward. I'm quite excited, if I'm being honest. How did you guys meet? Yeah. Oh, let's go over this. Oh, she stalked me. Drove my husband away. Left me with nothing. She stalked me. She put me in prison. She tongued my boss. Oh. Oh, no. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> just, just, I'm just, so good. <laughs> it's true, though. They stalk each other. Ma sorry. Maggie gave me a kidney. Oh, I shit. was in hospital visiting a friend and Donnie was in the next bed on dialysis. I thought he was cute. <laughs> I thought she looked like she had a kidney spare. I'm kidding. She is, and then what the heck? Six months later. She... Yeah. <laughs> You're gonna flash your scars. Ta-da! Look at that. That's an interesting story. I feel like Villanella just killed them just because she's so grossed at. <laughs> I think I might kill them. I think I might help you. Yeah, I was wondering if they're gonna kill them together. The tower. That speaks of chaos and destruction in your past. Can you think of why that might be? <laughs> <laughs> Is there any unresolved conflict in your partnership? Yep. Hello. Whatever path you walk down, you'll be blessed with a celestial light. Okay. This can do you a three card reading too. I don't want that. I just want the future. The last one. Okay. Isn't she supposed to split the deck? So that's. Yeah. I've done this once or twice. Oh. Killing Eve. From the start of the show, I was like, okay, it's called Killing Eve. They're going to kill her at the end. But I'm not sure if she was going to let go of the last part of herself or not. Or actually die. Hey, are you two okay sharing a sleeping bag? <gasps> yeah. That's very intimate. Ella, no. What you doing? Looking at her gunshot. What are you doing? Super intimate. <laughs> one of the best moments we've ever had between them it was just so calm it wasn't like all like i don't know if they're gonna kill each other or not i knew they wouldn't and it was just soft it's a soft moment is how i describe it what do they even have at truck stops trucks <laughs> we should play some music Oh, will you, honey? Oh, gosh. Sure thing, Baba. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, God. This is the best thing ever. Uh. Oh, did you get the coffee one? Yeah. <laughs> oh, God. I love it. Man, they're so domestic right now. I love it. Yeah, nice. Let's sing, please. I need to see them like sing together. Don't you jump me. Oh, yeah, she does. <laughs> Look at this, man. If one of them dies, I'm gonna cry. 
<laughs> wow, she got a big mouth. <laughs> Still managed to miss. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, see, I'm so happy right now, but so worried. Ugh. I love it so much. <laughs> Man, she has no fear. Yes. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> I could watch like an entire season of them just like on a road trip together and singing songs, you know, getting into shit, act like having to kill somebody together. I don't know, I could watch it for ages. He wanted me to tell you he always loved you. Ooh. And to give you this. You haven't seen her have some actual real emotions, like Except for Kenny. You're a psychopath. <laughs> I like my sword. It's messed up. <laughs> it's pretty funny. I'm the psychopath, please. Yeah, it's a good call fact. Psychopaths don't like being called psychopaths. Oh god. Go for it. Yeah, I love salt. I'm not gonna complain. Okay. But I look exceptional in Nenon. Really. Truly unbeatable. <laughs> and secondly, that emotions or feelings, as people apparently like to call them nowadays, are at best an inconvenience and at worst a total scourge on one's freedoms. Sound advice for someone who's gonna be an assassin or something. What the heck's going on? I like it. A lot. So like, fuck it, you know? There's just something about floating in water that's so calming. Especially if you're looking up at a beautiful sky. Wow, I really like that. It's, it's odd, calming. Kind of makes sense. They both lost somebody, and we transition to this, which is like okay. Yeah, the other couple can pee in front of each other, but these two have no issues <laughs> with that. Life's complete. Wow. Wow, that's a long kiss too. Nice. Different angles, good lighting. Does better than a lot of shows. <laughs> Aren't we all just saying finally right now? Wow. Wow. No words. Shit. I can't believe it. <laughs> she can't keep her hands off her. <laughs> I think for the first time in a long time they're happy. Upstairs rooms are all empty. Cello just had a guy in there eating pickles straight from the jar. How wretched. <laughs> I kinda like these two together now that I see that, you know? They're really very cool people. Okay. I miss Havana. Me too. The Fist music. bumps! <laughs> the <What>? dancing. <laughs> the dancing? Why don't we see the that? Inebriated nudity. <laughs> I could've watched an entire show about that. 
What? Why would they keep keep that from us? We got too little of Carolyn and Villanelle. Actually, I wanted to thank you. How disconcerting. <laughs> if you hadn't spotted me in that meeting the morning after Bill's karaoke party, I wouldn't even be here. I'd still be warming my tea in the microwave. He's dead? Russia is that is foolish. Damn. Wow, there's not much left, I'd say. Yeah. Ten minutes. I owe you a dare. wanted to see so much more of Carolyn and Villanelle. Can we get some extra clips after this show? Please! Do you want the job? No. Ooh. Nice pan. Proud. Really proud. Moment there. Oh. We're starting now. Come on. Oh, great. <laughs> now we're gonna get over it. Distract them. <sighs> I'm just like sighing out of happiness. I don't really know what to say. Awkward. I can't watch awkward things. Oh goodness. We're gonna blow up the whole thing. You were a handsome man. You are also a handsome man. Together. Jeez. Oh gosh. You are handsome men. Two handsome men. Uh, but also so much more than that. Ooh, let's talk about love. Shit, I'm gonna cry. But the beauty in your relationship will be found in the ways you reunite. Have you ever heard of Kintsugi? No. <sighs> Hello, losers. What is happening? I'm excited, but also worried. Villanelle is gonna kill fucking everybody here. Oh. Eve is just partying in the next room, man. <laughs> nice. Yo. Damn. What? The side by side is amazing. I can't believe she married people and I was partying with them. Damn! Man, these people had a lot of fun doing this show. That's like the best. Oh, nice. I'm worried though. She's her guard's down. It's an easy target. Are they gonna dance together? I did it, Eve. Wow. Don't you mean we did it? Yeah, but mostly me. Yeah, but we didn't get to see who the head was, so I'm assuming they're not dead. We didn't see anybody, really. I mean, it's nearly no point in introducing somebody new. Yeah. It looked like a shoulder, but you never know. She was shot quite recently. No! Fuck me. Can you snipe someone that well underwater? Man, that filming. Wow. Wow. The current? It was 
chilling out. They killed Kenny. As I suspected. She was hired to kill so many people. And Eve eventually didn't take it personally when it, if she killed Bailey because he was told to. Or if she had to to get away with it. What she was doing. Okay. Oh, that's honestly how I figured it would go. If I'm being 100% honest, but ending Eve's story herself with that as well was a bit weird for me. I figured, I figured that Villanelle had to be the one to have killed Kenny, and I said earlier, she's gonna kill whoever killed Kenny, and I knew that. She acted so chummy with her, and it was actually, their, their interactions with each other are incredible, I feel like. You know, of course, Villanelle isn't gonna be like feeling guilty about anybody she's killed because it was a job. But that was the like, Carolyn's last thing she was gonna do. I think she was gonna let it go, no matter who done it. But I, I do think it was a bit unfair on us viewers to give us this moment. And it was great moments. I loved it. I knew that they wouldn't end up together, but also I feel like it made sense. This is how I figured it would end. Um, if it wasn't. Eva was gonna be Villanelle. There was very low chance that they'd actually both survive this. But it ended with Eve just screaming, yelling. So I don't know what happened to her afterwards. Did she try and get some sort of life? Did she keep going the route of becoming an assassin? Um, is she gonna go after Carolyn next? Like, there was really no hint. And I guess they want to leave it to our interpretation. But something that unresolved with her future since the show is called Killing Eve, it is about Eve and not giving her some kind of final thing. He gave Villanelle a final moment of her death, but we don't know what happened to Eve. It's just a bit, I'm not happy with that. I must say though, beautifully filmed episode. The death scene was very beautifully filmed. Like underwater shots are so difficult like, it's so expensive, so difficult. Um, but when you pull it off, it looks so beautiful. It looks so majestic. And I think they managed to do that. Ironically, another biblical thing came in my head when they had the hands touching. Like, the, um, the creation of Adam, I think, is the painting that I'm thinking of. With the hands kind of barely touching. But then they were separated. Very beautiful moment. Very well shot, but as soon as I saw that bullet in Villanelle, I knew like there was no coming out of it. Overall, yeah, I'm gonna rewatch those amazing villainy scenes and just forget the last part of this episode happened. It's a bit odd, I'd say, that she ended up killing the 12, or I assumed what was the 12, but we didn't see who the leader was, and unless I missed something, and it was the Carolyn this whole time, but. We didn't see anybody who was being murdered by Villanelle, even though that's what the buildup was for this entire season. Like, Helen was after them. Um, I thought Carolyn was too, but it was more after Kenny and then Eve and Villanelle, but we didn't get to see them. I liked the actual moment, though, seeing Eve just letting loose, having some fun, you know, while Villanelle was doing the dance of killing, you know. So it was a good parallel. Overall, yeah, not my favorite finale to an entire show, but... I did figure this is how it had happened. I feel like I'd be more satisfied if they gave a slight hint as to even a c couple extra seconds of Eve realizing what Carolyn had done and seeing a single look in her eye. Could have felt slightly more final, but I do think they intended to, for us to keep the story going in our heads, see like what, what would we want to see after this? But as someone who, who writes a lot and reads a lot and watches a lot of shows, I, it's frustrating for me. It's just a small hint would be enough to make this finale better, in my opinion. But please let me know what you guys thought. Um, the the moments with Villanelle and Eve, incredible. Actually, just I'm gonna rewatch that. I'm gonna rewatch it and pause it where I think the show would have ended, and I'm gonna rewrite it for you guys. Okay, don't worry. I'm gonna rewrite it for us right now. 
Yeah, this is the moment everyone's rewatching. Little kiss. The playfulness. The come on, get over here. Let's finally do this kind of deal. Beautiful. It's refreshing to see kiss like this in good lighting different angles the duration of it so that's something i gotta give the show props to so beautiful natural i love the height differences of them it's like they're basically the same height but i feel like going now slightly taller look at that it's so natural between them the build up for this moment the entire show so playful i love it so much this was probably the part that got me the most that i also was slightly disappointed by how they panned away from it I was like fuck no i'm gonna keep my hands on you we're not driving right now so here's where i pause and be like they definitely they definitely did it right we didn't we just didn't see it we're all assuming that happened I don't think I'll be alone in assuming that. But for us fans of a love story, you know, with happy endings, this is where um, they'd say like, fuck, let's just, let's just drive out of here. Let's just drive somewhere, get our own little island or something, um, or go to travel different cities together, live in luxury, and just be together, finally, after all this time. They could have just easily hid away yeah, they would have left, lived their life in fear, but Villanelle knows how to evade detection. She knows how to hide. That's like one of her trainings, and she could have taught Eve that. And she has connections. I'm assuming she could find new identities, and they could hide out, you know, for the rest of their lives. But how how I would have liked it, which would have been a slightly cheesy cliche, is after Villanelle had killed them and they were out on that boat. That's how it would have ended. Them just looking at each other adoringly being like we did it we're, we're free and there you know but i knew because the last unsolved thing was kenny's death who did it i knew carolyn was gonna go there i don't know if she got what she wanted out of it just feeling of vengeance but you know she's been in this game for so long i don't know if it's necessarily was her character I would have been more surprised if she actually ended up leaving it alone, but I think she just set her mind to finding out the killer, and even though it was unconfirmed, we all suspected it was Villanelle. I don't know. The the hopeless romantic in me had just wished um, they got away with it, but realistically I knew Caroline was going to kill Villanelle, and I wish we got, a, got to see what Eve's next steps were perhaps going to be. They didn't really lay out many possibilities for us, it's just up to completely our imagination. Her just swimming there being like, no, oh shit, what am I gonna do now? It kind of just makes her entire story unsolved. Un like, she she questioned last episode what the heck she was doing with her life. You know, why, why would she do this? Caroline led her onto this road and her own actions brought her here. But I think it was for this moment to figure out some kind of future with Villanelle or at least for herself where she can't go back to a normal life. She just can't. Um, but now I don't know with the 12 dead what she would have been doing. So I, I wish they'd have given us some hints. I don't really know what, what more to say about that. I, I That's just my opinion. Um, but not too surprised. Not as upset as I would have been um, probably if they both died or something like that. It's quite predictable because I did figure one of them was gonna die. That's a very normal thing uh, with F and F relationships. Very normal to the degree where I'm not surprised anymore. I'm just like, you know, predicted that. But considering the story, it's not as upsetting as other stories where it literally was just made done for shock value. This was more like understandable. But yeah, that's, that's my reaction to the show. Uh, please let me know what you guys thought of the finale. If you're disappointed about it, or if you're like me, really, you kind of felt this coming and aren't too surprised, but not too happy about it either. 
or if you're devastated and you just want to let your feelings out, you can do it here in the comment section and I'll, you know, read it and listen to you guys and I'll t totally understand what you're feeling. And yeah, that's me, guys. I hope you enjoy my reaction to the show. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.